Begin by logging into Canvas using the name and password you received. After logging in, you'll see a dashboard that shows you all of your courses. These little blue circles indicate a new item, an announcement or a new assignment or some other notification from your course. If you prefer, you can toggle over to List View and get a list of your recent announcements and notifications. You can go directly to an item on the list or you can enter your course through the Courses tab. Most course homepages will look like this. These are modules which are essentially boxes that contain everything you need to complete or engage with for a particular week. Note the due dates on the right and the items here that you can click on one by one. When you're in an item and you finish it and go to the bottom of the screen, you'll see a Next button to take you to the next item in the module. If the item is a discussion, it will look a little like this, with a question or prompt at the top and then replies by students indented below. If you're replying to the original question, hit reply at the top under the question. If you're replying to a classmate, click the word reply directly beneath the comment you're replying to, and it will be indented right underneath to show that you're replying to it. When you click reply, you'll get a box to type in and you can add bold or italics if you'd like, or links. Remember that some professors will assign you to make video comments from time to time. You can click the video button, connect your webcam as instructed, and go from there. You'll get specific instructions when you receive an assignment to make a video post. In any case, once you've completed it, you can click post reply, and it will appear in the conversation. If the item in the module is a paper or an item that requires an individual submission, look for the Submit Assignment button, choose the file from your computer, and once the file has been selected, click Submit Assignment. You'll get a message that the assignment was turned in and you'll be able to see what you submitted, and you can move on. Remember that modules are your home base for the week. They contain everything you need. If you rely only on notifications or only on the assignments list, you'll miss key things from your professor that they expect you to use as you do your work. To send a message to your professor or a classmate, click Inbox, and you'll see a message interface that looks like email. It isn't exactly. This is a message system that works within Canvas, you can type a message, and you can type the name of your recipient or choose the recipient from one of your courses. Type a subject and message and send it, and the recipient will receive an email notification letting them know that they have a message that they should read. Remember that you can also view the student directory on Semlink to get a student's email address. To see how you'll get notifications from Canvas, click on Account and then Notifications. And you can add another email address or another way for Canvas to contact you. And then for each of these items, you can choose whether you want a notification when this immediately happens, or at the end of the day, or at the end of the week. We strongly encourage you for announcements and other key notifications that are set by default to be as soon as possible to leave it either as ASAP or by the end of the day so that you'll be sure to get important notifications in a timely way. For others, you can make adjustments that suit you better. If at any time you encounter any problems using Canvas, look for the Help button in the bottom left corner. And from the menu that pops up, select Report a Problem. Give us a summary and a description of what happened, click Submit Ticket, and that will send it on to us and we'll make sure it gets fixed. We hope you find Canvas to be an easy and intuitive and even enjoyable tool to use as you learn and as you make connections with your professors and your classmates.